When Nicodemus came to Jesus early in the Savior's ministry, he spoke for all of us when he said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Christ was, of course, much more than a teacher. He was the very Son of God, the Holy One of the eternal gospel plan, the Savior and Redeemer of the world. But Nicodemus was starting about the way you and I started, the way any child or young student or new convert begins, by recognizing and responding to a thrilling teacher who touches the innermost feelings of our heart. In recent months, President Gordon B. Hinckley has called on us to hold our people close to the Church, especially the newly converted member. In issuing this call, President Hinckley has reminded that we all need at least three things to remain firmly in the faith—a friend, a responsibility, and nourishing by the good word of God. Inspired instruction in the home and in the Church helps provide this crucial element of nourishing by the good word of God. We are so grateful to all of you who teach. We love you. We appreciate you more than we can say. We have great confidence in you. To teach effectively and to feel you are succeeding is demanding work indeed, but it is worth it we can receive no greater call. Surely the opportunity to magnify that call exists everywhere. The need for it is everlasting. Fathers, mothers, siblings, friends, missionaries, home and visiting teachers, priesthood and auxiliary leaders, classroom instructors, each is, in his or her own way, come from God for our schooling and our salvation. In this Church, it is virtually impossible to find anyone who is not a guide of one kind or another to his or her fellow members of the flock. Little wonder that Paul would say in his writings, God hath set some in the Church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. For each of us to come unto Christ to keep His commandments and follow His example back to the Father is surely the highest and holiest purpose of human existence. To help others do that as well, to teach, persuade, prayerfully lead them to walk that path of redemption also, surely that must be the second most significant task in our lives. Perhaps that is why President David O. McKay once said, no greater responsibility can rest upon any man or woman than to be a teacher of God's children. Now, at a time when our prophet is calling for more faith through hearing the word of God, we must revitalize and re-enthrone superior teaching in this Church. At home, from the pulpit, in our administrative meetings, and surely in the classroom. Inspired teaching must never become a lost art in the Church, and we must make certain that our quest for it does not become a lost tradition. President Spencer W. Kimball once pled, and I quote, Stake presidents, bishops, branch presidents, please take a particular interest in improving the quality of teaching in the Church. I fear, he said, that all too often many of our members come to church, sit through a class or a meeting, and then return home having been largely uninspired. It is especially unfortunate when this happens at a time of stress, temptation, or crisis in their life. We all need to be touched and nurtured by the Spirit, he said, and effective teaching is one of the most important ways this can happen. We often do vigorous work, President Kimball concluded, to get members to come to church, but then we do not adequately watch over what they receive when they do come." Close quote. On this subject, President Hinckley himself has said, "...effective teaching is the very essence of leadership in the church." 
May I repeat that? Effective teaching is the very essence of leadership in the Church. Eternal life, President Hinckley continued, will come only as men and women are taught with such effectiveness that they change and discipline their lives. They cannot be coerced into righteousness or into heaven. They must be led, and that means teaching. From all of us who have been taught, to all of you who teach, we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. May we exalt the teaching experience within the home and within the Church and improve our every effort to edify and instruct. In all of our meetings and all of our messages, may we nourish by the good word of God, and may our children and new converts, our neighbors and new friends, say of our honest efforts, Thou art a teacher come from God.